For this video, we're working on the sheet called Looking Up Information. This time, we want to work out what the sales of each product are for each of our regions. So, what are the sales for Dublin ABC, Dublin EFG, and Dublin XYZ, etc.? More importantly, we only want to carry out the calculation once, then fill handle to the other cells. To do that, rather than typing in the text values, we'll be selecting them from the lower table where we've laid the values out and making clever use of the absolute feature. Click on to cell B14. Type in equals sum product and open the bracket of the sum product function. Now open the bracket of the first condition, which will be based on the products. Highlight the first array, B2 to B11, and we need to make it absolute because we're fill handling. Then type in equals and select cell A14, the first product. Now this is where we need to be clever with the use of the absolute, because when we fill handle down, we need that selection to move from A14 to A15 to A16. But when we fill handle across, we do not want it to come off that A column. So we need to lock the column, but not the row. So press F4 once to put on a full lock, press it a second time to lock the row only, and press it a third time to lock the column only. That's perfect. And we'll close the bracket of that first condition and type in an asterisk for multiplication. Now open the bracket of the second condition, which will be based on the region. Highlight the second array, A2 to A11, and we need to make it absolute because we're fill handling. Then type in equals and select cell B13. This time, when we fill handle down, we do not want that to move from cell B13 to B14, etc. But when we fill handle across, we do want it to move across the columns to C13, D13, and E13. So this time we need to lock the row, but not the column. So press F4 once to put on a full lock, then press it a second time to lock the row only. Perfect. Let's close the bracket of that second condition and type in an asterisk for multiplication. That's all the conditions, so now we're doing the final array, the figures to be calculated. Open the bracket of this last array and select cells C2 to C11, and we need to make it absolute because we're fill handling. Close the bracket of this last array and finally close the bracket of the sum product function. Click on the tick to accept it. Then fill handle down and fill handle across. And that's our entire table calculated using a single calculation.